Overall, the U.S. economy remains on solid footing against the backdrop of the first synchronized global growth we've seen in some time and accommodative financial conditions. The benign outlook is clouded somewhat by uncertainties uh, surrounding government funding and the fiscal outlook, and geostrategic risk has risen. While the heartbreaking human toll exacted by Hurricane Harvey is already all too clear, it will take some time to assess the macroeconomic impact. The labor market continues to bring more Americans off the sidelines and back into productive employment, which is very welcome. In contrast, there's a notable disconnect between signs that the economy is in the neighborhood of full employment and a string of below uh, expected inflation readings, especially since inflation has come in substantially and stubbornly below target for five years now. With normalization of the federal funds rate underway and the start of gradual balance sheet normalization widely anticipated, I'll want to take some time to assess the path of the federal funds rate that will best support a sustainable move in inflation to our 2% goal. So let me start by reviewing uh, the outlook. Uh, the welcome, uh, we, we have seen one welcome development in the noteworthy pickup in business investment this year compared with last year. Investment in equipment and intellectual property has risen at an annual rate of 6% so far after remaining roughly flat this year. And oil drilling had rebounded this year after dropping sharply last year, although Hurricane Harvey creates some uncertainty about the coming months. Following lackluster consumer spending in the first quarter, uh, growth in personal consumption expenditures bounced back strongly in the second quarter, and recent readings on retail sales suggest another solid increase this quarter. The likely economic effects of Hurricane Harvey, of course, raise uncertainties about the outlook going forward. Based on past experiences, it appears likely that the hurricane will have a notable effect on GDP in the current quarter, with output likely to rebound by the end of the year.